if I, if I was going to pick my like top ten posters from the last like twenty years, let's say, I think your posters would probably be like half of them. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, because <laughs> I mean, so there's there's a definitely a kind of trend with movie poster designs. Um, you know, the the pyramid of heads, the sort of you know big floating head or something. You're sort of like you know designed by Photoshop template kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And you know, I saw your you know your funny games one sheet, um, the, the kiss of the dam one sheet, the uh, Herbert's Guide to Ideology. You know, they're they're all really just like fresh and bold, and you know, um, it looks like an artist's vision that's like you know being expressed, while also you know dealing with the kind of the marketing demands and you know the the commercial like exigencies that distributors face with you know with their design so like your ability to kind of negotiate that whole process and at the, at the end come out with something like this that's like really strong graphically and really like interesting to look at while also getting the distributor to be happy with what they need to do with their their, their marketing material so so yeah so my top 10 would be filled with you know a lot of your designs Thank like you. what are some of your favorite posters i mean it changes every day you know i wish i could say there was a consistent top 10 since no totally I started yeah, it's, it's a hard question i mean yeah like i get i get asked that a lot yeah and i have no idea how to answer that like what are some that you've been inspired by lately or one of the more recent posters that i saw that was created um don't really get it i think the agency claims it but um one that was just out for everything, all, let me see the, everything, oh, yeah. all at once. Yeah, yeah, they Everything, form of everywhere, being. all at once. Are you talking about the eyes? Yes. So I'm talking about the googly eye ones. That, is, um, that was like, one. I did like the best posters of 2021 or whatever. Like that was definitely on there. I mean, um, just not only do I love how it looks and I love what it does. Um, it's just thinking about how it squeezed through the like the marketing like machine, right, you know? Yeah. So like when I saw it online, like not only was I like, oh man, I wish I made it. I was like, how did this get printed? This is yeah. amazing. Yeah, no, we, so, we had a copy of that. You it's had like, a copy. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, like it's just so eye-catching. You know? like, <laughs> yeah, it's literally, like yeah. It's like so eye-catching. You can't yeah. help but like stop and look at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like a really strong image like stumble across on Instagram. Or, or like in any context. Yeah. Um, do, you, do you see the, the one sheet? Like I did the, by yeah, James cool. G. Yeah. 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 Well, what do you think of that? I think it's cool. I mean, I, I, I'm obviously like a huge fan of his work. Mm -hmm. But like just seeing how much went into yeah. the poster. Totally. Yeah, I automatically, so. like instead of just looking and appreciating all the things that were part of it, I was thinking, oh my God, what was the revision process? What was the approval right. yeah. process? Yeah. Change this, and uh, you changed this, this square guy. centimeter. So like I... I think I just locked into more of that than actually just being in awe of like how incredible it is and yeah. how much like amazing little details went into that poster. Right. Yeah. So um, you know the series Russian Doll. Yes. Did you see the poster for that? Yeah. So I feel like this is like the twenty twenty two poster trend like right more now. More is more is more is more. Yeah, more is more is yeah. more. And it's like it's just a kaleidoscope of images. It's yeah. just like put everything, everything on in the there, poster. which would be like my most nightmare. Can you make this? Call somebody else. Yeah, you know? it's almost it's almost like the antithesis of your style. Of yeah. Like one thing. Like yeah. One image, like focus the eye, kind of right. I mean, I stepped outside of that for Herbert's Guide to Eye. Oh, that's true. Hey, yeah. you're, that's almost an early like iteration of this style, I guess. Yeah. You know, just kind of chaotic. Yeah. Uh, I love that. I'd be a huge fan of that. But, like, at the same time, that film, like, jumped around with so many different things, so it was hard to to focus in on, like, one image that I felt best represented the film. So, because it had so many themes, like, we just went with, like, this more and more. But because it was touching on such heavy topics, I thought, like, this weird kind of Heinz Edelberg, Gilda Marine, oh, like, yeah, influence yeah. thing yeah, might yeah. Great, make it feel a little bit lighthearted and also, like, work together well with this kind of more is more type layout. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, I was really happy when Adrian You know, it reminds me of also the, you know, the Omar Ford poster. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You know, mm -hmm. it's kind of like that, it's a little bit, it's like there's 
a lot going on. Yeah, right? I love that poster. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, so what's like what's the what's your favorite poster that what's the poster that you did that you're the most proud of? Do you have one? The poster that I did the most that I'm the most proud of. I mean, it changes because a lot of times it's not only just based on the image; it's based on the work process. Um, Funny Games for a long time was my favorite because it gave my career, right. you know, and I really was so appreciative that it got printed when it did because it was so stripped down compared to what the trends of like poster making was at that time. Yeah. And I actually, you know, I was, I was a young designer when I made that. And I was also in this position where I'm like, okay, I still have a lot to learn, so I'll do whatever you say. But for this one, they wanted to add so much to the poster. And right. I was like fighting. It was the oh. first time I had fought for it. They wanted blood on her face. They wanted someone oh, wow. pulling her hair. And I'm like, but this is enough. Like, yeah, you see really, that she yeah. is clearly witnessing something horrible, and, and that should be enough. So I was really lucky that the director, like, had my back on that. Oh, really? Yeah, he, yeah. So he personally, like... He personally, wow, like, awesome. allowed it to happen. And, and usually, you know, on a lot of the films I work on, as much as I have so much respect for the directors, the marketing, the marketing people override their opinion. So this could have gone anywhere. And That's so I was super really and happy. Wasn't, that was his first English language movie. It was, it? yeah. So yeah. That's interesting. He had so much kind of um, say in like how it was marketed. Yeah. Uh, that's that's awesome. Yeah, I, I didn't know he like because I, I know there are some directors that really really care about their posters. I think they all do, but you know, oh, yeah. if they're if they're working with like a huge studio, they're right. kind of at the right. mercy. Right. Of studio wants. Right. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah, I would say like of the more recent posters I did, I mean, I was really, really so happy when Portrait of a Lady on Fire not only was approved, but like, it, you know, especially to come up with something so simple and a lot of people didn't even see the optical illusion for a long time. I know. That's, 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 like, that, I know, but that that's, I think that, yeah, I mean, I think that's what makes it such a like powerful image is like you can spend a lot of time looking at it and still not like take it all in mm -hmm. you know like there are people that really just see oh this is like a beautiful flame mm -hmm. um but yeah once you see the faces it's like you know like a light bulb yeah. Um, yeah. so when you submitted this were you like oh yeah there's no way there's no way they're gonna approve this <laughs> or yeah i mean it was definitely my like i think i sent them maybe six really rough sketches of just ideas I had and and I stuck this one towards the front I was sticking my favorite ideas in the front like wishful okay. thinking and then like later on in the presentation I'm like oh they would probably want to see the women's faces so like I have a few ideas with that and when they decided to go with this I was like so excited yeah you know it's like when has it ever happened that you don't see the actresses like likeness yeah you know no definitely props to neon for, yeah, for going for that. I mean, I think what also was working in my favor is that they had already like established the one sheet with, with one of the main actresses. Right, right. So this could kind of be like the secondary one that they didn't have to like put so much risk in. Right. You know? But it for me, like in my like in my like on my Instagram feed, like I saw this image like way more like shared by people. Like people were more excited about this image. Like people, I, I like I, you know, people can definitely get excited about movie posters, but like there was like so much excitement about this one in particular, and more like when it, when it drops, yeah, just because you know you just don't you you don't see posters that like barely have anything on it, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's just like a shockingly, it's like a shockingly pure image, you know, and you just yeah, you rarely see that. Mm -hmm. uh, so like, tell me some other posters that you uh, that like you that you saw and you were like inspired by oh I mean well since we were last talking about James Jean you know like I love the posters that he did for Mother oh, I forgot yeah. to include that in my list oh, but yeah, since we yeah, were talking no, about that. him but I'm was like, it the one of Jennifer Lawrence like both of them her. like yeah. there was both hers and Javier Bardem's and I yeah. thought even though they looked totally different that they, they were just so 
was well done and beautiful. And yeah, I, like, I love it. those. I wish I could have done those, but like I wouldn't have done them as well as he did them. So I was really, really excited to see those yeah. those cool stories. Yeah, no, was, I, I really like that movie too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like, what are what are some other posters that like you wish you did? Um, well, I think um, a, there was um, one by Phantom City Creative. So oh, um, I'll show it to you. Oh, there, okay. I think I sent it to you after I sent it. Oh wow, uh, that's cool. Yeah. So I mean, one thing that I love about their work is that you know they're they're clearly like they come from an illustration background, but they also very much just focus on concepts. And um, I think since there's this huge wave of now illustrated posters, like more and more like coming out for projects, it I think all, a lot of times concept is forgotten. You know, I think people are just so excited to see something illustrated that they okay. don't yeah. really like Super look sorry. at the, the the heart of it. Right. So I'm always happy when I see what work they create because there's always some like an extra element added to their pieces. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. I, what What are some other things that they've done on the left and right? Um. Let's see. I mean, they've done. I mean, they originally were artists for Mondo posters, okay. and then they crossed over maybe close to 10 years ago. So mm-hmm. I've been seeing their work pop up more and more. Oh, do you know the, um, so like speaking of like conceptual, like a strong kind of conceptual basis, uh, the, uh, do you know the poster, the Parallel Mothers poster? Yes, um, with the, the eyes, yeah. yeah. And that's by um, Javier, I, and, I, yeah. I am obsessed with his, his work. Yeah. I feel like I found out about him way too late in life. Yeah. And, um, do you, were you aware of him before that? Before I was that aware of him, was like, before? probably, like, maybe a year before that poster came out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just stumbled on his work, and I'm like, this guy is amazing. How am I just finding out about him now? Yeah. Like, yeah. his stuff is always inspiring. I love how clever and witty it is. Yeah, yeah. And I, I love how he just plays with so many different mediums to, like, it's like it's like he'll change the medium to, to fit the concept, which is, is something that I really admire. Yeah. people's work instead of just trying to sell them as an artist they're selling their ideas and, and executing it the, the best way that they can yeah you know? so yeah. You know, that, I, I was not aware of him before that parallel mother's poster so, i saw so it on my twitter feed and i was like oh my god like posted you know poster of the year yeah you know i mean i saw his book and i'm like i'm like oh i got tech this one i gotta put a like a little sticky here it's like this is inspired oh and like i realized at the end of the book like Maybe only four pages for not tag, and that's because they have text writing post process. But it's like his whole book is just so incredible. And oh, inspiring. Wow. Cool, yeah. I have to grab that. Yeah, like you've mentioned Polish posters before. Yeah, so like, are you're, you're a fan of Polish posters? I'm a hu- like, it, they've been a huge influence to me from like beginning of my career to even now. Oh, cool, you know, I just cool. love yeah. the artistry that that comes with them, the almost like the rawness and like and even this conversation i was having with sam last night it's like a lot of those artists hadn't even seen the film and oh, a yeah, lot of them yeah, don't make right. any sense with the right. film but like they're just so charming and refreshing that you, it makes you intrigued to want to see the film yeah it, like <laughs> it's so relative like, to it or not like what are some of the public posters that oh you man like? there's so many i mean it, it changes per project but every single project i'm on my first go-to is to look at polish posters you awesome. know some old ones, some even like more recently, that artist Alexander Malajewski. I don't know if I'm saying his oh, name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I love his work. I mean, I like so many of his, but like even this one oh, he wow. just did. What, this what is that? What is that for? So, this is a film about a shoemaker. I've never seen that. That's so cool. This is more recent, and I just love the colors. I love how it works. I love yeah. how simple it is. Really cool. And then one that I always thought was like a, fr- a favorite of mine is this one he did for Breathless. Oh wow, and that's, that's so cool. Yeah, so that cool. is awesome. You know, so I mean, I have, I've never seen either of those. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you his. Yeah, his. please do. Yeah, yeah, no, and he's, he's starting to to do more work. Like I think he did a campaign for Netflix. Oh really? So he's starting to to break into the the industry. Um, so I'm I'm happy to see his work. I mean, I yeah. just I just love being able to see uh, designers' thought processes like right. in these posters. So not only does like technique really like make me interested, but just seeing like 
the concept, the concept more than anything, is like what's most important to me. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm fascinated by Polish posters. Like there, are, you know, there's like the the school of Polish posters. They they, they take it so seriously as as like and, you know as like a craft. And then you know there's like the whole um, the whole political environment mm -hmm. there. The artistic expression was like kind of stifled, like under the regime. Mm -hmm. So, posters were like one of the few forms of artistic expression like available to artists. And they would like pour their heart and soul into these posters, um, and like really try to like express themselves through, through them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what really accounts for like some of the really just like powerful images sometimes. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, oh, and we were looking at the camera buff. Yes, the camera the buff. Yeah, I was like. As soon as I walked up, I'm like, oh, I forgot to include that on my list, you know? Yeah, 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 that's like, so yeah, that's on my wall at home. Great. Um, Great. Next to, I have that, and do you know the poster for, um, do you know the movie Danton? Danton. It's uh, by Andre Vida, and it's, um, the poster is just like this guy from like the French Revolution. Oh, no, no, that's on my list too. This Holy one. Holy shit. That's literally yeah. what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah. I have that that's and the camera list. buff. Yeah. Side by side, side, by on, side. The, on my living room. This is such an amazing Incredible. poster. Yeah. No, yeah. So that's, that's of Yeslav Valkuski. Yeah, no, he's insane. I mean, he did also, you know, the Shan and the Moon poster that he did. Similarly, like, like gross. <laughs> like that. It's like a skin, a guy's face, but he has no skin. Mm -hmm. you, know that, you know that one? Um, Pull it up. Yeah. You know that one? Yeah, I love him. So, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, this was huge, like. Huge favorite. Yes. That film is amazing. Have you seen the movie? I haven't. Like, very, very kind of. It's, it match, this po Part of the reason I love this poster is it matches the tone of the movie it so well. Okay. Like, so what about some older posters? Older like, posters. Okay. Let me pull these up for you. But yeah, I mean, of course, both posters for, um, for Naked Lunch. Oh, but okay. I but I like, love which, the which Japanese one. one. Oh my god, yeah. The Japanese one is so good. Um, do you know that artist? Um, it's not Eiko, is it? It's not Eiko. It's um, uh, Soriyama. Okay. So like, he's known for robots. Like he makes robots. Oh yes, of yeah. course. He makes, yeah. Like, actual I have his books. My dad yeah. had his books. Okay. Well. Yeah. I didn't know that that was. Yeah. Good. It's um, so. Yeah. I mean, I love just everything about it. How yeah. it looks, the type, everything. That's uh, yeah. That's. Been one of my faves. Like, yeah. yeah, and then speaking of other Japanese posters and, and Eiko, of course, is um, oh wow, the yeah. Apocalypse Now. Yeah, like my ex boyfriend had this poster, this giant poster in his living room. And yeah, it was just it's, so it's yeah, it's like um, it's the B zero size, so it's like really large scale, really large. Which you need that scale to see the surfer. Yes, right? exactly. Like it's, when you see it online, you don't even like yeah, you don't you don't surfer. see him at all. Yeah, yeah. so. Um, you know, that's extraordinary and obviously her uh her she she did not design very many movie posters. Yeah, she did like the like, cell, right? Right. The, the, the cell, um the uh oh, crap, what is that one? It's like two women with a guy in the middle. Instagram like took it down because it has nudity on it. Oh, um, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up and we'll flash it on the screen right here. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, she's mainly known for her like set set design yeah. and you know, costumes yeah. for Dracula. Which were yeah, which were incredible. Uh, yeah. yeah, huge, huge banners. It's like one of the most impressive posters like show anybody. Yeah. Like, because Apocalypse Now is like a, this a well known movie mm -hmm. and um, it's an impressive poster. It is. I was like, when, when I broke up with my boyfriend, I'm like, oh, there's no way I can keep this. He's like, don't <laughs> even think about it. I'm like, all right, it was worth an ask. <laughs> I love the Cuban poster for Stolen Kisses. Oh my god, yeah. That's yeah. one of my all-time favorite yeah. posters. Yeah, right I mean, here. of course, the other one is iconic. The you one know? sheet? Yes. The pink. The yeah, pink one. I mean, as far as the Cuban one, I just love the simple, it's like, incredible. super simple idea. Yeah. You know, and yeah. the title, you're like, all right, that's like a one Yeah, that's one. like something you would do. You know? <laughs> it's like... I'm, all, I'm always like a fan of like, why add extra things? You can right. get the concept across quickly mm -hmm. why do something classy yeah know? cuban posters just like in general are amazing is it is it already five well listen i just want to thank you for you know coming to new york and like you know doing the show with us uh it's been awesome 
Yeah, I mean, it's been so fun. I can't thank you guys enough for having me. Cool. It was really a great experience. Awesome. So.